Across the street from me, there is a garage. And every time I'm filming in the window, they are always staring and they're wondering what the heck is she doing? Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Katya, for those of you who don't know me. For today's video, I want to take you guys along with me into my whole bedroom decorating process. If you follow me, you know that I love boho, folly feels, and of course my bedroom was no exception. I wanted it to feel like when you come into my bedroom that you're at a resort, you're in a hotel. I'm super happy of how it turned out. There are still a few things that I want to tweak here and there, but as of right now, I'm going to leave it as is. I couldn't be happier of the end result. But before we get into it, I just want to do a little mini haul of some of the pieces that I just recently got for the bedroom. A few months ago, I had received a uh, subscription box from a company called Globin. They do fair trade goods with artisans throughout the world. And each piece that they sell are handmade with love by different artists. I went on their site because I know they have such beautiful pieces. And I was looking for different ones for my side tables and little accent pieces to put throughout my room. I didn't get their monthly subscription box this time. I believe it's actually $40 a month. Each of their box is a different theme and each month they have four to five different boxes to choose from. This time I chose my pieces that I wanted. Each of their pieces has a story behind it of the artisan who made it. That makes those pieces all the more special and so worth it for me. If you guys are interested, you can go on their site, read all the beautiful stories about each artisan. What's great too is that every piece that is made by an artisan, Globin pays them a salary and it helps them buy their basic needs. If we can buy things and give back at the same time, then that for me is definitely a win-win. So I wanted to share those pieces with you. I'm gonna start off with my first one and it is this super cute, little trinket box. I thought it was perfect for my side table on my side to put my jewelry in or even put my hair elastics. I thought it was the perfect little box for that. And then I got my husband this one for his side table and it opens up like this so he can put his pieces in there. I just thought they worked beautifully together. The color of the wood was just so perfect and it had the whole moon goddess. It's definitely me boxes. Um, and my husband really doesn't care, so I got to choose his box. But anyway, so those were the first two accent pieces that I got. Moving on to my third one, I actually got this one thinking that I was going to put it in my bedroom. And it is this beautiful little stool here, and it has all the carving here. I just thought it was the perfect color. I love the wood. I thought it was great to put a plant on as a plant stand or you can put all kinds of things, candles, vases. You can totally do all kinds of things. I love a good stool on a counter space or in a bathroom. I was super happy, but I tried it out in my bedroom and it just was not working. I thought that there was a lot of wood going on already. So what I did end up doing was not putting it in my bedroom, but I put it in my kitchen on my countertop. So I could not be happier of this purchase. For my next piece, I got this super cute little storage basket and I think it's perfect to store things in. You can even put a little plant in it on their site. Where I had gotten inspired, they put this on top of the little stool and they put a plant in it and I thought it looked so pretty. That's what drew me to buying these two pieces, but it just didn't work in my bedroom. But this basket, I'm definitely gonna be putting it either in my bathroom or even in my DIY room just to store things in. I think it's just the perfect little size or even I think I might be putting my little makeup brushes in here. That is so good. Yeah, I'm gonna be putting it in my makeup room. So I am so happy of this. You know, if you don't use the cover of it, you can use maybe the basket for something else gets two for the price of one. So that's always good. Then my last piece, I had been eyeing this for a little while on their site and I always wanted to try it. It is this awesome tea, this loose tea, and it is Sunkiss Huibus. I just loved the container, the look of it, and it came with this super cute little wood spoon here. I have a whole coffee tea section downstairs, and I thought it was so nice to put and display it because I do think that the jar is so cute. I'm super excited to try it out. I just love teas. Teas are like my go-tos. I love coffee, but I've been trying to cut coffee, so I'm focusing more on teas. And anyway, I'm super excited to try this out. 
that's pretty much all the pieces that I end up getting from Globin. If you're interested in any of the pieces or their monthly subscription box, I will leave all their information down below. They are super sweet. They are offering you a discount code. So anyway, happy shopping. Without further ado, we're going to jump right into the video. Enjoy. We are in the master bedroom and the look that I'm going for more in the neutral uh, ivory taupes cream colors uh, versus the earth colors like the terracottas and all the other colors that I have throughout my house. In my room I just really wanted it to be light, bright, I kept the walls white. What I wanted to do right now is focus the main focus on the bed. So I had envisioned doing this whole canopy bed and then putting beautiful sheer curtains on it. I came up with an idea of how I was going to create this. I got this whole bed at Ikea but what I had envisioned was just buying poles which I did. I bought some wooden poles which you guys can see in the back there and what I had mentioned it was trimming them down and fitting them inside the frame and then just screwing them in and just making them a little bit more stable with all of the frame around it but it was not gonna work it is there's no way that it's gonna fit we tried it does not work so I had to come up with a plan B my plan B was I know it's not the greatest and you guys are probably gonna like cringe when I'm saying this but I'm going to drill them on the outside of the bed. On the frame, there's Velcro where the fabric comes out. So I'm just going to leave a little hole at the top and leave a little hole at the bottom so I don't have to go through the fabric. So if ever I want to take it apart and I don't want the canopy bed down the line, it won't show. So that's what I'm going to do. As far as it's showing on the outside of the bed, because of the curtains I'm going to put, you're not even going to see it. And then there's my whole bench there. So everything's going to be covered. Anyway, fingers crossed it comes out the way I'm envisioning it. We're going to start off with the bed first and then move our way into all the other stuff. So bed first. So these are the beams of wood that I'm going to be using for the canopy bed. I got a whole bunch measured. I'll put the measurements there if ever you want to recreate it. So this is where we're pretty much going to be drilling. We ran into another problem. There's metal plates in the inside of the bed. We're going to try to drill it as far as we can without it going into the metal. So we're going to pass the wood beam through here so I don't ruin the fabric. Just in case I want to eventually maybe get rid of the canopy bed and just keep my bed as is. I don't want to ruin the fabric on the outside. As far as the foam, it doesn't really matter. Once you put this over, it doesn't show. So the great thing is that there's Velcro here. It's just an easy way to cover it up as well. First up, we're gonna drill holes just to make the holes and then I'm going to screw them into the bed. So this is the carpet that I got at Wayfair. I just love the colors. I believe I got a 12 by 9 if I'm not mistaken. But I just wanted something light and airy in here and that's why I'm probably also keeping all the wood this color. I am not going to stain it. Maybe down the line I'm going to want to stain it but as of right now it's the same color as my bench that I created. Uh, if you guys saw in my last DIY I did one. I'm super happy about this carpet. I think it is perfect for this space. So the canopy bed is up and I am super happy of how it turned out. It's even better than I envisioned. I was very scared and a little skeptical that it was going to look all wonky, but it looks amazing. Well, anyway, I think so. I'm not going to lie. 
it's not the most sturdy thing, but I am not gonna be swinging off it anytime soon, so we're good. I'm just gonna hang some curtains on there, so it's not gonna be like this huge weight that's gonna be on it. I want to start off with the curtains that I'm gonna be hanging. I got these from Amazon. I didn't want white, I wanted something a little bit more cream or ivory, and I was looking for linen curtains. And I found these, and I thought they were just so perfect. I don't know if it's focusing. I love the little lines in it so I was super happy and then I also got some white linen sheets I got a new linen duvet before I had a beige duvet sort of like a I say beige it was more of a taupe duvet I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right I'm sure one of you is gonna tell me I'm so butchering it but anyway a duvet so I got a cream one and I'm gonna use both of them. I have my taupe one and I have a new cream one, but I just wanted to mix it in. I love a bed that looks like you just slept in it and it's all wrinkled and it's all poofy and it just like you just wanna lie back in it and just have a good night's rest. So that's the look we're going for. Not perfect and perfectly done. I mean, it takes time, but you don't want it to look like you took like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to do your bed. So anyway, that's the look we're going for. I'm gonna link everything down below for all the uh, sheets, the duvets, the curtains. Another thing about the curtains, since they don't have handles on it, I don't know if you guys can see. Well, they have them in the back, but what I was thinking of doing, since I think I got them longer than I need them, so I can cut a little bit of the end off. And what I was gonna do is cut strips and then sew each of them and create ties to tie them onto the canopy. So hopefully they're long enough.
that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up it means the world to me and i know i keep saying it but it really does i love you always have an amazing day Mwah.